Hey guys, it's Taku. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. This is Summer Film Spotlight number 10, and today we are talking about the night is short walk on girl which was released by g kids and it is the masaki yuasa film from i believe 2017 it's a wonderful little comedy romance film and let's go ahead and talk about it the film follows two major characters one of them being senpai who is an older gentleman i believe he's a college student and he is head over heels for the girl with the black hair also known as otome since neither of them really are given names in this movie he is obsessed with this girl in the nicest way like possible like not creepy weird, but he really lacks self-confidence to approach her. So instead he creates all these scenarios, trying to meet up with her by chance and just calling it, oh, you know, it's it's not a coincidence, it's fate that we're meeting up together. But it's every little coincidence it's from opening a door, running to each other in the hallway, running into each other by the vending machine. He creates all these situations that really just spiral. And what he's trying to do is, you know, tell this girl that it's fate that we're meeting. But the Atome, of course, is very innocent and pure. She doesn't really know anything about <laughs> kind of what's going on until the beginning of this movie where she decides that she kind of wants to have one blasted night in Kyoto. And trust me, it's about to be the longest night of both of their lives. Throughout this night, Atome is introduced to the world of adults, and that of course includes alcohol. She guzzles down her first drink, and she's very eager for a second, a third, a fourth, a fifth, and pretty soon she's just going through bottles. In fact, it gets so bad that after she finishes at her first place, she stops to another, and another, and another, and wherever she goes, she's making new friends and bringing along this train of people. And those same people also happen to be involved in Senpai's life, so as the film goes along, you see that their two lives slowly start to meet together until it's no longer just these coincidences that are force and it actually starts to feel like a story of fate. The film is weird and goofy, it's, at many times it feels unhinged. The animation style is also largely part of this because it is um, very cartoonish. If you've ever seen those old black and white Disney cartoons, it's got that same style. Masaki Wasa is imitating this very colorful and loopy and fun and exciting trip um, that is a lot more cerebral than you would think. The main plot is kicked off when Atome remembers a book from her childhood and that she's searching for at a open book fair. That propels the senpai to go out and if he can find this book and then reunite it with the girl, they'll also kind of think that it's fate, you see what I'm saying? So he spends the whole night trying to get not only her attention but a hold of this book. And yes, it spirals from this insane used book fair, just tomfoolery to a whole night of fun and madness and fanfare. They eventually go to a school festival and at the school festival, it pretty much turns into a big musical drama for a little bit. And it's terrible, but when I say terrible, I mean it's actually kind of amazing. The latter half of this film focuses on the Atome, kind of making amends with all of the things that happened in the night by helping all the people who kind of got sick after getting three sheets to the wind final part of this film focuses back on that serious romantic drama portion and it rounds out the story really beautifully by showing once again all of the characters and all of the colorful people that she has met and kind of gives a little bit of direction as to where the relationship between Otome and Senpai will go in the future. Clocking in at just about an hour and a half, this is the perfect date night film for you and your significant other, especially if you are already into anime. Misaki Yuasa's style, again, is kind of hard to approach right at the beginning. In fact, it took me just a little getting used to at the start because I've seen a a lot of Masaki Yuasa films and wow this one was really just unhinged. I also really enjoyed the sophistry of the film. There are many points where the characters get into little arguments, little quips and quabbles about what the meaning of life is, what the meaning of age and youth and love and romance and marriage, and it's just, of course, everyone's just drunk, so none of their arguments really make sense, but there's just this deep musing about deep parts of life for just small parts of the film, and then bam, you're on to the next part, and then the next part. I believe in the interview that I watched of Masaki Yuasa talking about this film, it's adapted from a novel that covers four seasons of this romance. So it navigates through winter, fall, spring, summer. Of course, in this film adaptation, we are given everything crunched into one very zany, very wild, but very unforgettable night. Along with the sophist ideas, the film introduces a lot of happy wordplay to go along with the themes of love, youth, and marriage. It also takes a look at drinking as not only an art form, but a form of argument as well as spirit and essentially fate. It is a lesson on drunkenness, whether for booze, money, love, or 
otherwise. So although it reaches out to themes of fatalism and connection to the universe, it is also a film that essentially has no inhibition. The Blu-ray DVD release of The Night of Short Walk on Girl currently does not have a dub, it is subtitled only, but there is a dub available on HBO Max. I've not listened to it, but I've listened to the trailer, and I recognize some of the names from the project, so you are in for a swell time whether you watch it subbed or whether you watch it dubbed. I'm giving The Night of Short Walk on Girl an 8 out of 10, and honestly, I probably just need to rewatch this again. Because yeah, there's a lot that's going on in this movie, and it does not stop from beginning to end. It is an incredibly imaginative film that cautions never so easily trusting those you meet in the night. What did you guys think of The Night of Short Walk on Girl? Let me know down in the comments. I am of course late to the show, but I'm so glad I was able to watch this, especially cover it in the Summer Film Spotlight series. Thank you so much for watching this video and tune in next Saturday when I talk about another film for the Summer Film Spotlight. Thank you guys so much and until next time.